The beaches in Milos are the best in Greece. You will find every kind of beach you like. Hey, I'm Rhett, and this is my Greek-American wife, Katina. I'm turning 40 this summer, and I'm taking the opportunity to travel Greece and learn more about the people and culture that make this country so beautiful. Don't forget to like and subscribe to follow along. Pamestina Lada. I came here in 2017 on my first trip to Greece with Katina and her family before word got out about how jaw-droppingly gorgeous the island is. One nice thing about traveling to Milos is that you can fly or take the ferry. We decided to fly this time as the ferry can be rough on windy days when traveling from Athens into the Cyclades. In 2021, Milos was voted best island in the world by Travel and Leisure magazine, and I'm a bit concerned about how tourism may have affected the island since I've been here. At lunch, we chatted with Tassos. Born and raised on Milos, he shared his perspective on how other locals were handling the increased popularity of the island. They welcome the change. The last years, uh, the island is start to grow, like a uh, touristic grow. But I think it's uh, it's the same. It's not a uh, change a lot. I'm relieved to hear Tassos' take on the changes, and he talked about why Milos is so special. The beaches, I think it's uh, it's about 75 beaches. You can find every kind of beach you like. You want sand, you want the stone, you want small, you want big, you want crowded, you want less crowded. You, you will find everything in Milos. An Athenian I was chatting with on our way here told me the beaches in Milos are the best in Greece. Asking Tassos' favorite Greek philosophy, I think I started to uncover why Milos was starting to become so popular. You have to be kind and uh, if you see a person and that he was kind to you, you will be twice kind to them. We headed to our hotel, Halara Studios, and after arriving at our room, we chatted with our very sweet host, Anna, and she had glowing things to say about the people of Greece. Είναι πρώτα η φιλοξενία. Γενικά είναι χαμογελαστοί άνθρωποι, φιλικοί με όλους και πάντα πρόθυμοι να βοηθήσουν τον τουρίστα που επισκέπτεται την Ελλάδα γενικότερα και εγώ το νησί μας που ξέρω ακόμη περισσότερο. I asked her what life here was like these days. Η ζωή εδώ είναι ησυχή, το χειμώνα περισσότερο, το καλοκαίρι με τον τουρισμό έχει μια ιδιαίτερη ζωντάνια, γιατί ο τουρίστας μπορεί να δει υπέροχες παραλίες, να απολαύσει υπέροχο ελληνικό φαγητό και να περάσει όμορφες και ήσυχες διακοπές. She continued to tell us what it was like living on Milos. Το νησί δεν είναι πολύ μεγάλο, η ζωή λοιπόν είναι ήσυχη εδώ. Δεν έχει πολύ στρες, έχει ήλιο, θάλασσα και γενικά είναι όμορφη, ήσυχη αλλά πολύ ωραία. Talking to Anna made me realize that the recent boost in popularity isn't only due to Milos's geographic beauty, it's because the people are so kind and welcoming to all who visit. The locals are the ones who make Milos truly special. Katina and I sat down to talk about some of the things we noticed about the island. I think part of the attraction that it has now has also helped the infrastructure. But I think that with more restaurants and more places to go and more people to feed, that the creativity has increased. And we travel for food and culture, and I think people love experiencing that. They just don't know where to start. I've kind of discovered some more, like, good Greek cuisine here that I didn't notice the first time around. The first time you came to Greece, we got to show you Greece and took you all these places. And this is the first time that you've taken me to an island that, you know, even though we brought you here first, you came here without me, did a lot of exploring, and now you're showing me part of this island. Well, I am becoming Greek. You are becoming Greek. You are now Greek. Greek pro tip. Talk to a local to figure out what's actually great. Follow your nose, follow your heart, and try to be as local as possible. One of the places I really wanted to show Katina is my favorite restaurant on Milos, a meat restaurant that was recommended to me by a local when I was here in 2019. One of the owners who is the grill master here became my inspiration for grilling when I tried to refine my own skills over the pandemic. I dreamed of coming back to this place one day. Being here and witnessing his talents now does not disappoint. Like the rest of Greece, Milos has a fascinating history that dates back thousands of years. Katina and I spent our last day exploring before our friends Josh and Megan would be joining us here. 
visitors' degrees have to go to Cerro Canico. It's one of the most photographed landscapes in the Aegean. It's easy to see why the beach feels like something out of this world. It's a canyon where the rock looks as if you're standing on the moon. Where the white earth meets the blue sea, there's no mistaking that this could only be Greece. The colors of the rock reflect the time of day, making it a magical place to be at dawn, and it was also the perfect place to see a full moon rise over Milos for Katina and I's last evening here alone. Katina wisely insisted we spend some time on its lunar landscape while watching the moon rise. The sky was a dream. The waves were pounding against the cliffs as the wind howled at its buck moon. The fusion of the elements supernatural. It's hard to comprehend that no matter how many times I visit Sierra Canico, it never ceases to amaze. Josh and Megan have limited time on Milos, so we picked them up and immediately shared some of our favorite spots on the island. The first thing I tell anyone visiting Milos is that you have to take a boat tour. With its one-of-a-kind coastline, it's the best and only way to see some of the island's greatest treasures. Cleftico is a must for anyone coming here, and the only way to get there is by boat. Seeing its picturesque coastal landscape reminds me why Tassos told us there's a beach for every occasion. It's also a big part of the reason we came back to Milos on this trip, as I think it's a great island for first timers. It is perfect for tourists who want something more authentic and affordable than Santorini or Mykonos, but with a comfortable amount of access and tourism. I came back worried that tourism would have changed the soul of this island, but instead connected with the locals and culture even more than I had in the past. Watching the sunset in Plaka at the top and being able to do the boat tour and watch it from like a totally different view looking back onto Plaka was just phenomenal. One of my favorite things about Greece is that somehow every sunset is magical. Of my favorite places to watch a sunset in the world, it seems like my top five are all in this country. It's no wonder then that Milos is blessed with the beauty of Aphrodite, pairing its geographic wonders with the magnificent Hellenic sunsets. Don't forget to like and subscribe to follow along.